On the evening of June 19, 2017, at around 8.15 p.m., Orlando police officers in Florida were conducting routine patrols, randomly scanning the license plates of passing vehicles on the road. The license plate scanner mounted on the roof of a patrol car could quickly read license plate information and search it in the police database to investigate vehicle owners and vehicle information to uncover potential illegal activities. Suddenly, the officers noticed that when retrieving information for a white Ford sedan's license plate, the police database couldn't retrieve any information associated with that plate, prompting them to immediately activate their lights and pull over the vehicle. As the officer approached the driver's seat, the woman inside had already taken out her driver's license, ready to hand it over for inspection. Uh -huh. You're good. <clears throat> The woman in the car was none other than Aramis Ayala, the first African-American state attorney elected in the history of Florida. The officer explained to Ayala the reason for the stop and then assured her that everything was fine. What agency are you with? I'm the state attorney. Same thing. All right. Thank you. Your tag didn't come back. Never seen that before. Um, I'm sorry? Like yeah. We're good now. So it was... We ran a tag. It, I've never seen it before. A Florida tag. It's never come back to anything before. Ayala still seemed puzzled about why her license plate information was initially being investigated and continued to inquire. Why did you initially check my license plate information? <clears throat> so that's the reason for the stop. What was the tag run for? I'm sorry? What was the tag run for? Oh, we run tags all the time, whether it's a traffic lights and, and that sort of stuff. That's how we figure out if you know cars are stolen and that sort of thing. As the officers continued to explain that the darkness of her windows was also a reason for the stop, Ayala's lips curled into a mysterious smile. What do you think Ayala was thinking at that moment? Also, the, the windows were really dark. I don't have a tint measure, but that's another reason for the stop. Uh, yeah, one second. Without batting an eye, Ayala discreetly requested cards from the two officers. Starting from there, the officer began clearing their throats incessantly, perhaps due to nervousness. Actually, this isn't my car, but I can write my name down if you'd like. The officers provided their personal information on a piece of paper, handed it to Ayala, and wished her a pleasant day. Afterwards, state attorney Ayala drove away from the scene without receiving any citations. <coughs> there you are. Have a good day. Later, it was revealed that Ayala, born in 1975, was elected as the state attorney of Florida in November 2016 and officially took office in 2017. On the night of the incident in 2021, Ayala had just finished teaching at Florida A&M University College of Law and was on her way home. The reason her license plate information couldn't be queried was because the vehicle she was driving that day was a government car issued by the state of Florida and its license plate information was classified. Therefore, the officers couldn't access it through the database. The dash cam footage of Ayala's stop was widely circulated online, garnering millions of views. Many internet users linked the officers' motives in the stop to racism. There were also many rumors claiming that Ayala sued the officers, which led to their dismissal. However, Ayala personally issued a statement afterwards, stating that while she believed that officer stop seemed legitimate, she emphasized that she had committed no wrongdoing herself. She stated that the tint of her car windows fully complied with Florida law and she had never sued the officers. Ayala continued, saying, I will continue to communicate with the Orlando police chief, and my goal is to foster a constructive, mutually respectful relationship between law enforcement and the community.